hi to all of my happy scribblers and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my mid-year setup in this new Primrosia notebook. This is premium heavy watercolor paper, 160 GSM, and it has 160 pages. So let's open it up and get started. First things first, on the cover page, I'm just going to quickly write in my name and then flip right over. I have taped off the pages ahead of time and I just taped on some notes for the words that I want as my focus words for these next six months. So here I've taped off the places that I'm going to be writing those words and now I'm going to start painting in my flowers. So here you can see I'm going in with very soft tannish yellow color and I'm doing cone flower style flowers with that and this will just be the base. So the awesome thing about this paper is I can actually layer and not worry about it kind of um, balling up I guess or coming apart. And so that's super exciting and allows me to do a whole lot more as far as um, just adding in different layers and textures and stuff into my paintings. So I'm just going around the page and I'm laying down the first layer of different styles of flowers, different colors of flowers, and what I'm doing is skipping around because I'm letting them dry in between. So laying down the base foundation for all of my flowers and plants and then circling back around. By the time I circle back around, uh, most of them will be dry. So that's what you see me doing here. By the way, this paper holds up so well even with this high amount of water that I am putting on it. There was no shadowing through to the other side or any issues whatsoever. I'm completely in love with it. Oh, and definitely not sponsored. Although I wish I was, but <laughs> I am not sponsored. I am just recommending something that is working for me much better than anything else that I've tried before. And now we are starting on our second layer of paint on those cone flowers. So I'm going in with a little bit darker. I mix a little bit of pink with a little bit of orangish and then I am just kind of spreading them around trying to get the pigment to land unevenly on the flowers so that they're not all just one solid color. I really like the difference in the tones on the petals. So here we're adding on a third layer onto these flowers and what I'm doing is taking pigment that's a little bit more concentrate and I am just making lines across the petals to make it look like there's little veins. And now that I'm satisfied with the flowers and how the overall page is filled, what I'm doing is a wet on wet technique where first I am brushing water onto the page and then I'm going in with a watered down pigment and I am putting that very watered down pigment on the already wet area and kind of spreading it around because I just want there to be a little bit of color to the background but nothing that's going to take away from the flowers. I want the flowers to be what stands out the most.
this is a really fun step and I had a lot of fun doing it and just varying the colors in different areas of the page was really fun um, and here I'm adding a little bit more detail to those purple flowers that I had forgotten to do but anyways um, this is a really easy way to just make your page look that much prettier with more depth to it when you have something simple like this and you didn't want to lay a full background color on it beforehand so yeah so there that's done and now we're just going to take all the tape off this tape stuck really bad to this paper so i won't be using it again it was quite a pain in the butt to get it off <laughs> um, but i did get it all off eventually and then i'm taking my highlighters and i chose very very light tones and I am writing in my four words, which is fruitful, long-suffering, and abundant grace. So speaking of grace, while I'm writing that down, I want to do a shout out to one of my most wonderful friends. Her name is Gracie, and she watches every single video of mine, and she means a lot to me. She's been a big part of my life, and I am just so blessed to know her and so I wanted to send you a shout out Gracie and just say that I love you and I hope that you're enjoying the video. More tape peeling and trust me this footage is very sped up i had to go extremely slow and it still ripped the paper in a couple places but we got it all off and this is the end result i added in two bible verses which is first timothy 6 11 and 12 and with that this cover page is finished so let's move on this will be my six months at a glance and i have already sketched out and taped off the columns. So I'm gonna speed this up a lot so that we can save some time because I'm using the same methods that I used on the other page with slightly larger flowers. And I'm gonna fill in the background instead of lighter colors, I wanted to go with a little bit of a darker color this time to contrast a little bit more. So instead of year at a glance, uh, well, it's not exactly a year at a glance, so that didn't really fit. So what I just wrote in the corner there is events. And then I wrote in all my mini calendars and there's the columns below for me to write in events, which usually end up being birthdays and things like that. And now we are switching over to my trackers. This is a big tracker, it's a mood tracker and other things tracker <laughs> um, it's just basically a tracker for me where I want to keep track of a lot of different things well I have six other trackers besides the six monthly mood trackers and per request of my oldest daughter Allie she asked me to do cosmos flowers on this spread so that is what I'm doing I'm going in with one simple layer and trying to paint the flowers at different angles and then drawing in the stems with the fine point on my pens. So this is the kind of situation where having that fine point on the other end of my brush pens comes in extremely handy because if I were to try to do these very delicate little twisty leaf type things with a paintbrush, it would not turn out this well because they are just so tiny. So I'm really, really thankful for that fine tip on this spread. So here you can see that there's a Dutch door and I turned the page and I continued on that flower onto that page. So when I open it, it looks like it fits, you know, it's just one flower. And then filling out all the rest of this and now time to peel more tape. <laughs> I was so frustrated by the end of peeling this tape off um, and the little micro rips in my paper were irritating but you live and you learn and trust me that tape will not be touching this notebook again <laughs> 
So this mood tracker is pretty basic and I have done it once before in this style and I really liked the way that it looked on at the end. And so that's why I decided to go ahead and do it again. But there are 31 spaces down, one for each day, and I will just put a dot on that day um, on the space of the mood that I'm in that day. And then I connect all the dots and it looks really neat at the end of it. Here's my other trackers. I left two empty ones because I always make these trackers and then I think of something else that I want to track. So I left a couple empty ones and I'll decide what I want them to be. Okay, so this is going to be the last spread in this setup and this is going to be a weather tracker. I really like um, tracking the weather for some reason. It's really interesting to me to look back and see how many rainy days we had, how much rain fell, or just overall what the temperatures were. So I am painting a big sunflower here and filling in that empty side space and I'm doing the same thing again with layering the colors. So here what I've done is chosen out highlighter colors as a temperature code. I have highs and lows. The blues and the purples are for the lows and then the orange to the pink are for the highs as you can see there. So I have two spaces in each column. So there are six columns, one for each of the next six months. And then in each column I have a space for the high, the low, the rainfall, and then how cloudy it was or sunny. And I will do that using my dot method where a tiny dot means a little and a large dot means a lot. So that is how it is and I'm not labeling my columns because I know what they're all for but the first two will be for the temperatures and then the two that are together in the middle will be for rainfall and sometimes we get a lot of rainfall over you know an inch and so that's why I left it as two in case I need to put like 1.2 inches of rain or so but anyways that is that so let's do our final flip through so I wrote fruitful long suffering because while all lives have some suffering in them, whether you like it or not, there's no avoiding it. And I've just been thinking about how I would like mine to be fruitful. And also I wrote abundant grace and that is just a beautiful reminder to me to have grace for myself and for others in abundance. And so hopefully this cover page will be a reminder throughout the next six months as I flip through to keep me focused on those things. I'm looking at how this mood tracker page turned out. I believe I will be tracking the mood in that pink pen. Um, so that'll pop with the green and white background. I think it's gonna end up looking pretty cool. Well, you guys, that wraps up this mid-year setup. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it inspired you, and as always, keep scribbling and stay happy. Goodbye.